Today I am reviewing the Dremel Paw Control Dog Nail Grinder. I have reviewed a couple of other nail grinders that Dremel sells for specifically for grooming purposes, uh, but this one is, they've kind of remodeled it and taken it up a notch um, and added some new features that are really specific to dog groomers. So as opposed to the other Dremel tools, which are kind of an all-purpose tool and can be used for dog nail grooming. So uh, I wanted to check this out and see if it was all it was cracked up to be and easier to use than the other products. Uh, so this has a nail guard you'll see on the top. You don't have to have the nail guard on, um, but there are three different settings that you can adjust to, and I'll show you up closer uh, in a minute so that you can get the, the blade that's in here closer to the paw, uh, or closer, I should say, to the nail, uh, or further away. So you just adjust it and it goes on closer to the grinder or further away. It has a hole right here for the dog toenail and allows you to get the perfect angle um, and also catches the dust inside this little can container here on the end of the tip of the drill bit. So that is really nice to not have that dust flying everywhere. Uh, this is also a rechargeable tool, which is a step up from um, the other tool. This one can be used with a USB charger, whereas the other one had a battery that you had to take out and actually put in the battery charger. So um, I thought this was just kind of easier and it saves that step of taking out the battery. So let me show you uh, an up close look at this tool and then I will uh, show you how it works on my dog's nails. Here is my Dremel Paw Control nail grinder up close. You can see the tip that I was telling you about and this plastic guard here. All it takes is just a quick turn and you can adjust it to the one, two, or three setting to get it closer to the nail or a little bit further away depending on the length that you want. Um, so this is one and it's pretty much right on the nail file there. There's no space between the guard and the file. If you want the nails a little longer or you're just a little more nervous about clipping the quick, um, you can have it out extended a little bit more. So this uh, part screws off. I'm gonna take this off first. And then you just unsnap it. And if you don't want to worry about the guard at all, you can just use the grinder. Uh, it comes with nine different attachments. Here's the flat grinder. You can also do, that's kind of more of the traditional grinding tool that we see. Uh, if you want, you can switch those out. It's really easy to switch. They give you a little wrench. You just loosen this pop the new one in and then tighten it. So super simple to use. Uh, and then the sliding speed button, which I love. Um, this is really easy to use. As you can see, one-handed with just your thumb, so you don't have to worry if you're in the middle of cutting the dog's nails, you're holding the paw with one hand, you can use this completely with your thumb. Um, the lock button is also here too if you wanna make it so that uh, it can't spin for a period of time. Um, and then as I mentioned, it comes with the charger, so it's comes with everything that you need. Some don't come with the wall adapter, so it's kind of nice that this one does. Um, now I'll take a look and I'll show you how I use it with my dogs and how easy it is. Here is our Chocolate Lab Sadie's Paws. I am hoping that she will let me uh, use this nail grinder with her. I have used a nail grinder with her before. I prefer clippers just because it's quicker uh, and Sadie's kind of skittish, so she doesn't really like the noise of a grinder, so that's something to keep in mind when you're deciding which product to use with your dog. If you want information on the types of products to use to cut dog's nails and the pros and cons of each, if you click the link below this video, you can see a guide on that uh, on our website that's got information about the different styles of clippers and grinders and which one might be best for your dog. Uh, but the Dremel Paw Control has, as I mentioned, the rechargeable battery. It can fully charge in about three hours and there is an LED light as well that will come on to notify you when the battery's low. Um, the drawback to that is that you cannot use it while it's charging. So if you run out of charge in the middle of doing your dog's nails, you will have to wait until it's charged to use it again. Um, I do like the cordless design and I also like, um, as I mentioned, the comfortable grip and the 
slide button that you can use easily with your thumb um, because it makes it really easy to clip your dog's nails. You don't get hand fatigue very easily. So if you're a professional groomer or you have multiple dogs like I do and you wanna do everybody at the same time, um, this definitely could work for that. So I will show you, here's with the guard on, as I mentioned, um, what you'll do is just hold your dog's nail. It gets, as I mentioned, that 45 degree angle. You can easily turn it on, grind the nail. All the dust stays right in there. Um, I think you can see now the dust that's in there just from doing that one uh, tip of Sadie's nail. So it keeps all of that, it doesn't make a mess, which is nice. If I wanted to, I can just pop this off. You can see where it's gone around on Sadie's nail. Um, but you can pop that guard off. Sadie's not super happy about this, but she is letting it happen. You can do the nail like that. Um, you can see a little bit of the dust now floating around, so that's the drawback to not using the guard, but it is a little bit easier for me, I think, without it. Uh, the Dremel Paw Control Nail Grinder sells for $49.99 on Amazon. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email me. Thanks for watching this video review.